Hi, my name is Johnny McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio. WideAwakeNews.com. Wide Awake News. It is our goal. It always has been from the beginning. It is our goal to use reasoning and common sense to stay a step ahead of the establishment media and the agenda of corrupt government. Wide Awake News. Not look at what they're telling us now. Look at what it's leading to. This is how we wake our friends up. This is how we wake ourselves up and understand where we're going so we can prepare and you know, hopefully act in order to stop tyranny. The mainstream establishment media, Washington, D.C., they're letting out tidbits of information that are shocking and terrifying and getting people all worked up. But it's agenda-driven. It's agenda-driven. You don't have a media that's owned by 90% owned by a half a dozen corporations and that directly benefits from the collusion of a special interest in government give you the truth. They let out little pieces of information to rile people up, but they don't give you the full truth. They don't do their jobs as watchdog of government. Case in point, gun control. Absolutely 100% provable that gun violence is on the decline. If I can prove this, these new media networks can prove this. If we can ourselves get on a computer and find that between 1993 and 2011, it was almost a 50% decline, do you think for one second that these so-called watchdogs of government couldn't prove the exact same fact? IRS scandal. Not a shocker here whatsoever. The MIAC report came out several years ago saying if you're a Ron Paul supporter, a returning veteran, you might be a terrorist. We've seen government look at people who call themselves independent, patriot, freedom lovers, you name it, anti-government, pro-gold. If you think that the IRS scandal is shocking, I don't know what country you've lived in for the last decade. Boston bombing. Boston uh, terrorist attack. Even the establishment media is questioning or, or putting out information questioning the story, leading to people that we consider to be uh, plugged into the pop culture infotainment questioning the official story. What do we need? We need more informants. We need more cameras. We need more cities locked down. One of the largest cities in the country is locked down, martial law, kicking indoors at gunpoint to catch two kids that the FBI knew about years before they uh, years before they claimed to know about. Locked down the city of Boston. No one freaked out. This is agenda. This is conditioning. Our Federal Reserve is buying $84 billion a month to keep a fledgling recovery uh, alive and running with the power to stop it and absolutely decimate the economy whenever they see fit. Benghazi, Benghazi scandal back in the news all over the blogosphere uh, talking about it's going to bring down this administration. No, it's not. It is not. We're not letting out information by one party because that's what we have, one party. We're not letting out information to bring down anybody. We're putting out information in order to build opposition to take the focus from where it should be. Benghazi? We knew then it was a lie. We knew the reason we were there was a lie. We knew the backing, uh, the, the backing the terrorists that b murdered and butchered Muammar Gaddafi on YouTube was a lie. We knew we had a barbarous, murderous Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, when she came on TV and said we, we came, we saw, he, di he died. What is the reasoning for letting out this information to keep you fighting with your neighbor? Division, divide and conquer, the blame game, the left-right game. It's time to break through this lie and understand that this stuff's being put out there in order to generate fear, in order to generate crisis so you can dominate with control. This is the agenda. This is the plan going forward. Do you think anything's changing behind the scenes? Do you think so? Secre our new Secretary of State going out today saying that if Syria doesn't come on board with forced negotiations, we will back the uh, freedom fighters. We're two years later, freedom fighters. The same kind of garbage John McCain had to come out and say about the freedom fighters in Libya. They are terrorists. We know this. We put them there. The same folks that are in Syria right now, al-Nasra, just got blamed for blowing up and killing people on the Turkish border. These are the exact same people John Kerry, now Secretary of State. I'm waiting for the day. I'm waiting for the hour where he comes out and says, we came, we saw, he died. Talking about Assad inside of Syria. It's the same game over and over and over again. We must break the stranglehold of truth from establishment media, and we must take back our country. We must become a nation of, by, and for the people, not of, by, and for the special interest, and led around by the nose like a bunch of weak cattle. Stories are attached. That's all I got.